Oh my goodness. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Monday, April 8th, 2024. I am here currently with Xavier down below here. <laughs> this is running a few minutes late, so he will just uh, tag in when he's ready. So that's it. So you'll notice this wonderful. I got this kind of late and um, I know I used the penguin as the um, header for today's show, but uh, Howard as Bonnie Raid is just really fantastic from Total Eclipse. And uh, yeah, so excited for anybody who was able to see the eclipse today. Um, if you weren't, it was one of those things that I feel like with social media and the way the world has been going, we we put so much more emphasis on things that we normally would not have like back in the day. I mean, even I remember seeing it in 2017 and it wasn't really that big of a deal to us. And um, today it is. So here, here, I'll just show you some pictures I took from today. So, oh, I did them in, in reverse order. Okay. So this was earlier. This is when it was starting probably around <clears throat> 145 or so. And, uh, and you can see like some of the sunspots here, which I think is always really a cool thing to be able to see kind of, uh, fairly. Up Very cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool. And then, um, I did do a time lapse, but I didn't download it from the camera yet. Um, so I do have a time lapse after this all happened. And then, um, we only got 60% down here. So this coverage was basically kind of like down to here. And that's pretty much all you got because it kind of goes this away. So it was kind of cool and it was really fun to see. And I had my little glasses on over my sunglasses and, um, and yeah, so it was really, really, uh, special and kind of use your C star for that. I did use my C star for that. Oh, that's such a cool little telescope. Oh, I know. I'm so excited to show you guys other things I do as I go along with it. But I did post some of this on Instagram so that we could see it all together. Um, <laughs> as opposed to us who are intellectually curious, there is also Howard, who is completely and utterly intellectually uh, well, curious. And um, it's all because it's not about him. That's well, it is. But it's stupid. And, and like you said earlier today, you know, anything that has to do with like fun or excitement or group participation or things that people love, he's, he's against. Totally against. And exactly. Parades and just pretty much anything that in includes like a bunch of people having fun and having a good time but, is something that he's completely. But it's, it goes to show the effort that is put into the show these days. In the old days, it would have had. Gary the retard in a fake rocket going up to the moon. Absolutely, they would, they would have played the Arnold, the fake Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, talking about blowing up the moon. There's so yeah. many things that they could pull from, but right. at, at this point, it's all about oh, that's stupid. That's it. That's the effort that he puts into his show these days. Yes, agreed. Sorry, I'm wearing a dress that's a little bit big on me tonight, but I was kind of liking the color, so that's why I have it on. But it's it's just not, it's just a little. It's just yeah, 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 yeah. Just a little big. Um, yeah, a lot of people were in the path of the eclipse. I, I talked to a friend of mine in Massachusetts today, and she was busy with other shit. And she was like, yeah, you know, all of a sudden it got really dark outside and kind of chilly. And um, and then it was gone. And I didn't even really uh, talk about it. I was like, wow, how do you not, like, focus on that just for the 10 minutes? That it's literally what the world is talking about. Yeah. And, like, you know, I like Come on. I'm excited for it. And, and it was really fun. And so I will, uh, I'll put up my time lapse as soon as I get it downloaded. It was really, really like big uh, gigabytes. So it didn't go onto my phone, but yeah, whatever. All right. So let's talk about today's show. Um, unfortunately, we don't have Dennis with us yet. Yet. I will address the elephant in the room, which is, uh, I don't know what's going on on the YouTube channel where all of a sudden there's like, I don't know, maybe one or two or three people and all of their miscellaneous accounts. Sock puppets. There's all these sock puppet accounts that are just kind of coming after us in a really weird and bizarre Ooh. way. And I'm not really understanding where the hate is coming from. I'm not understanding why people are being the way they are. And quite honestly, I don't care. Okay, I don't care about you and I don't care about your stupid accounts. Word. 
And um, and if you want to talk about John Arm, you want to talk about what's going on with him and whatever, talk to him. You know, everybody talking about, oh, my God, Arm's doing his show and not doing your show. And, you know, uh, you've talked so much shit about Arm that he doesn't want to be on your show. Go find that. Go find, find that clip somewhere. Go find that somewhere. And by the way, if Arm wasn't doing our show, he didn't do his show either. So it's not like it was just us. Oh. Just He just stepped away. And, you know, I am not here to comment on John or what he may or may not have said to me in the past about what was happening with him and what he's going through, because that's not who I am. OK, so all of you assholes who have a problem with me not talking about John or conversely talking about John, it's your problem. And and I don't care. And by the way, and you can continue talking about how I delete your comments from the comment section. Because I can't, mm -hmm. because it's it's my show, it's my That's, show. You want it, you want it, another show with Stern? By all means, knock listen, yourself out. I, I think Frank said, said it. Knock Frank yourself said out. It very very well right now in the comments. He said John's been very open about his battles with, you know, like mental stuff. You know what? We gave him the space that he wants. It's cool. We still yeah. love the guy. Yeah. If he wants to come back, cool. We still love him. Exactly. But he wants like, to like most said. Should. If someone can find one, and our shows are on the internet, you go ahead, look through them. If you can find one time we said one thing negative to the dude, please po let us know. Yeah, we, all I'm you sure it doesn't exist right there. So, out there who are just wanting, I don't yeah, know. You know what? I think what they want, they want, um, they want like the, a double verse part two. Like, exactly, exactly. Some people just want what? the double part. And, and listen, it's all good. I'm not here for that. And I'm yeah. not here for your um, salacious need to see me fight with somebody who I have yeah. loved for the last 10 years, okay? Because it's not going to happen. And you know what? I don't really even give a shit what, yeah. it, you know, he'll choose at his own time to either come back or not. And you know what? Yeah. I'm doing the show for four months without him. Yeah. So it's absolutely okay for him to come back or not. Either way, yeah, door is open. And he can do whatever he wants. Okay, that's all I'm uh, going to say about it. There's nothing else to say because I don't really know anything else. I heard about, you know, them doing the deepening show when you guys said it, when you guys put it out on the forum um, at, at Radio Gunk. And so, yeah, so good on him. It, it didn't stop me from forwarding him the link for the StreamYard every single week. Absolutely. So it didn't stop me from texting him or emailing him every single week. And if you guys think that that's something that should be uh, trolls or looked upon as being a dick move on my side, okay, I'm not giving in. Okay. And that's all I want to say. And you know what? You can keep your stupid ass comments to yourself because I am absolutely closely monitoring the comment section on the YouTube channel and I have no problem with deleting you. So talk away. You'll, you'll be talking to yourselves, okay? Every You're... now and then I fall apart. <laughs> so and I need yeah. you now. <laughs> and, I, and I need you now forever. Mr. Dangles did a song, which we will play at the end of the show today. And yeah, that's it. All right. So that's all we have about that. And let's start. <laughs> you know well, what? We I got, oh, we, we got some salacious crap that went down today holy that, oh my god is like, oh i should we even start the show with let's it? just start with it you guys want us to start with howard's show or do you you want us to go straight into the salacious crap wow so I got it. i'm gonna you know what i'm over, i'm overruling anybody in the chat and i'm gonna go for salacious crap yes because, yes, holy yes, yes, shit. yes what happened with elisa jordana today yes i don't even know what to say i um I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I think that some amazing shit went down. And listen, what I want to say just in advance of watching this video Delicious. is that there is no part of me. Uh, okay, let me just let me just preface it. So Alyssa was live today with some dude in the car. I don't know enough about it, so I'm not going to speak out of turn. But she's in the car with some dude, and she. Um, here's here's Dennis. Hang on a second. Jen, hi. hi, baby. 
Listen, we're just about to start a little discussion about Elisa Giordano. And Ooh. I just about like John and the comment section and all that stuff. So you can listen back if you if you care to listen about it. But we kind of went over that and it was kind of like this little weirdo elephant in the room. So um, did you hear about what happened with Elisa Giordano today? Mm-hmm. So oh, good. bro, you know, you're in for a treat. You are in. Well, cool. I, like okay, I, I take that back. You're in, so you're in for some crap. It's oh, so take it back. Darn. Um, so, yeah, some chick calls in to her show. She was live streaming. Apparently, she was live streaming for like six hours. Actually, oh. the live stream is still going on. It's still even, going on? Even though there's nothing happening. Is, and, dude. Oh, we can't pop in? <laughs> we, can to pop in. we should do it, Casey. After can we pop in? Incredibly horrible thing that happened to her. Listen. There is no part of me that condones violence, violence. against women. Okay. Oh, no, no, I don't. I condone oh, no condone violence against anybody. That's bullshit. And it's, Absolutely. It's actually worse than you can possibly imagine. No, you're joking. No, 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 no. It's worse than you can imagine. And I can imagine pretty bad. No, but I just watched it right before we got on the show, and it's like, oh, mother of God, this is really as fucked up as it gets. <sighs> so. Okay. Uh, maybe somebody in the chat knows a little bit more than we do, but I will tell you, it is all over the place. Um, I was tagged into it on Twitter, but it popped up on Reddit as well. And apparently something was said in the chat. So let me just give you a little setup. Uh, apparently something was said in a chat okay. and the dude that she's with, which I guess people are going to tell me is her boyfriend or something. Yes. Um, she, she gives him some shit and he he says to her, you know, don't 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 F with me because I'm not uh you know I'm he did uh, warn her. I mean, at least give him that. Yeah, I mean, it's worse than that. It's just so much worse than anything I've ever seen. And it's really um I mean that's all I'll give it's actually that. tragic. Yeah, we're gonna look up um oh, pay, 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 what is that pay called? Pig. It's pay pig. Okay, these are words I don't know until today. So let's start the clip with a pay pig. Okay, we don't know these words. I'm gonna look at. I just like to look it up. So basically, they're talking to like somebody. Okay, so she's she's already starting with him, and I don't know why because I don't know what precipitated this. Okay, so he look. Oh, that's not that's not cool. Right. So then she kind of smacks him in the nose, and he gets a little bit upset. He looks like a little guy too. Looks like yeah, somebody he does to dominate a little bit. Not gonna lie. Uh, hi, yeah, 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 yeah. So you know he looks like he looks but, like if her and Benji had a kid. Yes. Okay. Wait. Okay. And she's like, he, and he's like, dude, you hurt me. And he's like, I will fucking floor you if you. Oh, and he's calling her the sea monkey. Well, so I'm gonna well, lower that. But wait, wait, wait. It gets so much worse. Okay. So it's just, just kind of. Like, well, I mean, so far I'm not really feeling bad for her because that's you, you don't do hang that. Hang with again. it. Hang with it a second. Hang with it a second. So they're We're driving, hanging. live streaming, and she's taking calls and she's talking to people and blah blah blah. So I'm really not going to play the comments. She's driving. This is crazy. Okay. So you know she's she's just going along, and he's getting really really pissed, and oh, okay. he's uh, rightfully so. He, uh, yeah. he is. I, so far, I'm not really seeing defense of her. Please hold on. Please hold on. Okay. So. Uh, this chick donates some money and, you know, they're talking about like uh, doxing her or whatever on uh discord or some shit like this. And then, Oh, and then she pinches his ear and then that's it. Then that's it. And he's telling her to pull the car over and he is just literally ripping her fucking hair out. It was just really, honestly, it's, it's awful. Um, this is absolutely he should be fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what though, you know what though, there is something here though. If you're a girl, don't start hitting guys like that because shit like to, this can happen. Afterwards. Guys will turn, snap. Turn up, turn up. It's... You know, he's going a little too far though. Just probably could have just popped her and then got out. Oh, you're sorry, right? Okay, I'm So then she gets out of the car. Obviously, she's got to get the fuck away from him. It's just because there's like insanity going on right now. It's just really just okay. Okay, so she gets out. I guess he goes around the other side. She stops the car, and then he takes her car. He takes. Okay. Her car. Sure. So, why not? Sure. Okay, and that's it. I see two so, people that have a lot of fucking problems. No, it's yeah, more. Think. 
So yeah, I mean, this is too big of a up. lot of problems at this I point. Had to okay, what is your terminology about what the word pay pig means? A pay pig is somebody that is uh, basically like uh, that she's using pay pig. Okay, so the actual terminology oh, for I it. it like. Let me get rid of this. Um, a pay pig is a financial submissive. Yep. In the dynamic of financial domination. I've never heard of this before. Financial domination is a fetish of power exchange, which involves the transfer of money from sub to dom as an act of ultimate submission. As money is the ultimate representation of power in our modern society, pay pigs are ultimately known as fin subs and money slaves. So Benji. Okay. Kind of like Benji. Yes. Kind of like, like Benji. Kind of like Benji. Yeah. So wait, wait. A girl who dated Benji and Andy Dick is making questionable choices. Is that what I'm supposed I to I know. Say? It's shocking. <laughs> it really who is saw shocking. That coming? Listen, you know, there's a lot of, I mean, so many questions and not enough answers with this. I, 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 first off, I can't as a woman imagine hitting a man like that. You know, no, there, you shouldn't. And and as a man, I would I would just walk away from a woman to touch me. I, I mean, just first time. That's what that's you do. Done. Just just be done. Like, do. No, we're done. Just walk 100%. away. Hundred percent. Just, just get, we're done. Far over. Me again. Get far over, and then just walk away. Um, yeah, we're we're done. That's awful. Uh, honestly, awful. So a lot of people in the chat are saying that this guy has money, and he's like a dude who you know has like tons of money and whatever. Sure. Um. Yeah, I can't even I can't even imagine that happening. And yeah. I did reach out to her to ask her if she was okay. <laughs> I was a little concerned about what was maybe, going she on. Maybe a little shaken up. Maybe hopefully she got a car back, you know. I don't know because like I said, the stream is still live right now. What? The car's still, the car's still rolling down the street right now. It's still rolling down the street. Um yeah, I think some, it must right, be plugged so. into this the cigarette lighter because uh, they put it on autopilot. <laughs> Either that, or it's some battery in that camera. Is that the same dude? <laughs> no, it's a different uh, dude. Uh, oh, there's a different there dude. This is yeah. I don't know who these people are. Okay, well, this is Jenna gets fed up. With pay Isn't pay. that just another term that she's like a horror with Johns? I mean, mm, is that kinda. kind of like similar? I mean, I honestly, know. I don't know what's going on. Honestly, I don't know what's going on. And um, like, what do you put on uh, th uh, when you file your taxes? <laughs> what do you put as your no. what do you put as is, your is profession for for pay pigs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, a, I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She was live. I'm sorry. I kind of I think I probably deleted it, but uh, oh, it, was well. like, oh. it was just a, it was just going with just like chats going without her being on there. Um but yeah, I I do the, uh, him uh, and Arab guy? hurt her. So I don't really know what was going on there, but uh, you know, it's just weirdness all around. At the, yeah, well, her whole her whole atmosphere is strange. Um, it's yeah, always think... been a little on the strange side. You know what I mean? Yeah. A lot of questionable decision making going on there. Yeah, very uh, questionable. Hard to watch. It's it's hard to watch though. I'm not really. Oh no, I I didn't get any pleasure out of seeing that. That was. I no. mean, if it's like some weird sub forum thing that goes on that people are really into, knock yourself out. But I guess. Is yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get into that. We that's, don't that's kink shame here. It was disturbing for me to watch that. Well, it, it, well as well, it should be because that's just not that's not normal behavior on any part. N nobody should act like that. That's just nonsense. On any level. So on any level, that, that's just nonsense. No one should act like that. That's just psychotic. Just crazy. I, I'm, I'm sure we'll know what, tomorrow. What did she think was going to happen? She I guess because popped him in the she... face and then yanked his ear off. What did she think was going to happen? I've heard I've heard rumors about things that have happened with her and Benji, and I don't know enough to say whether it was something. That... I, I, if you heard rumors, they were probably true. Oh, uh, dude, we did a Mister Whiskers on that man. That was some <laughs> weird crap going on. I almost guarantee you they're true. We did yeah. Whiskers on that. Do you think it's a work? I don't think so. I, you know what, I. <laughs> It wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me, but it's kind of, I mean, you're basically committing a crime on camera. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna, yeah. Actually, have to they to both committed assault. It. So, I mean. And, but then he stole a car. He took the car. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, and then that. if they're in a relationship, though, is it really stealing the car at that point? I, no, I don't know enough. I don't know about the relationship. I don't know about. Yeah, it's, that's a weird fine line. Uh, I mean, is, isn't it technically so many questions. I mean, so many questions. 
No so answer. many questions, no answers. No answers. <laughs> None. Is there a cop in the? Is there a LAPD in the audience? We don't know enough. Yeah, we don't know enough. Just, that's that. really a messed up situation that I am glad I've never been in and oh don't want to be yes. part of. And uh, oh. just, okay. <laughs> that's, that's really fucked up. But the thing is, the second she popped him, the dude just said, "Stop the car." I'm getting. Yeah, exactly. And the fact that he just hung around. But she wasn't stopping the car, so there was that too. Oh, but he didn't ask. Oh no! Stop the you car. reach over and throw the bitch. In, you throw the bitch in park. He said, "Pull." You make the car stop. Pull the car. Pull the car. Yeah. And you yeah, get out. Yeah, yeah. So I, mean, I once jumped out of a car for a disagreement on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I want Supreme. No, you know what? I'm just, I'm you know out. what though? That's understandable. You yeah. know what I mean? That is understandable. That's fine. Right. That's understandable. Right. Right. You want to hit you? Like you, you, you probably want to get out because it's not going to yeah, get better. You make the car stop. Trust me. There ain't going to be kumbaya after that. Yeah. All right, so let's get started with the show, though. Oh, yeah, we actually start the show now. Oh, yeah, that was a thousand to. times. Oh, no, that was like a must-have. Yeah, that, awesome. <laughs> that was a thousand times more entertaining than and three else. and a half hours the entire of the year. show today. Yes. The entire year. Yes. So let's go to the show. You realize I put more effort into getting here from my meeting <laughs> than Howard and has put in all year. Party of the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your actual drive, your mileage of driving today was probably more than he has done the entirety of the year. So let's just go with that. I drove 60 miles today. There you go. So that's probably more. Me driving to WATP was more driving than Howard has done since last year, like Thanksgiving. You mean 10 years? In 10 years. He hasn't driven. That veal hasn't driven anything. Anybody asking questions about the Elisa video right now? We don't have answers. We don't um, know. I just we know I nothing. Just alerted to it right before we got on the show. Literally, you know as much as we And do. I found out on the show. <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> There's that news. There's that news. You should right, have so had a puzzle reaction cam. Exactly. She, puzzle <laughs> puzzles on strike. Like, she's been uh Bitch. She's, she's been very she's been very bad the last week. Very, Is very someone bad. Someone request to show it again. Should we show it one more time? Did you so, see? No, I don't. Oh my dear God. Him doing oh, okay. Okay. the heart. I tried. Yeah, it's really delicious. I'd lost Savior in the motion of doing that, but I just because I didn't use this as today's Photoshop, I just thought it needed to be shown. From God Hollywood. damn, that is disturbing. Yeah, he's brilliant. Ah! Uh, ah! Okay, let's go. So, show opening. I don't even know why he started with this weird Frankenstein thing, which was also. Uh, okay, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Hang on. But, uh, <laughs> now they're getting. Now there's a new thing. They're getting good looking guys to play Frankenstein, like hot guys. And it's Why? so fucking annoying. Booga. This was the, the the role of ugly men. I know. It was for they me. They finally be stars. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, because what's he talking about? <laughs> well, I've played Frankenstein, so he's sure. Why not? Hey. Let's just uh... wake up and grunting. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed Jared in the uh, chat. Jared, we're happy that you're still alive and with us. So oh, thank Jared, you. Jared, for a beat. Did you saw right. that thing in your nose that you need to take out. <laughs> that was the funniest. That was just that was probably one of the funny. That was that was funny. You know, it just it just shows that I'm 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 slightly a sociopath and my my empathy gene is less than zero, which pretty much everybody who knows me knows. But yeah, Jared, we're we're glad that you're well and that you're still uh cool. you're still with us. He's made it, he's made it through. Yes, indeed. Okay, so then he starts talking about how these two hot guys are gonna be playing Frankenstein, one of them being um christian bale Ooh, and yeah. the other one being um <laughs> i think his name is uh something elordi uh Ooh. jacob elordi Ooh. or something like this who makes sense for the role because jacob elordi is like um six four or six five i mean it's a you really know who makes sense for the role so, howard stern well that's what he no thinks. makeup <laughs> that's what he thinks and so he's actually, <laughs> he's actually shocked here let me just show you a really quick picture of jacob Elordi so that you can see how tall this this guy is it's kind of crazy yeah so he's a is big he a guy. fidget who's a, Might be a fidget but he is six five so yeah she's, she's uh, fun size okay he, yeah she's fun size but he's <laughs> he's almost too big for her he's almost too 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 no tall. no no what are you saying? No. Oh, is that just the right size for you, uh, Dennis? Yeah, that's fine. That's six, a good size. Six five is fine. So, of oh course, no, no, no. The, the the fun size. Oh, the fidget. The fidget. I wish I was. I wish I was six five. I know six five is. I now six five is a little tall. How tall are you, Xavier? I with my uh, biker boots, I'm six five. I'll put that. Yeah, but you what? Three? Six three. Six three. Yeah. 
That's tall. That's actually tall. Yeah, I'm only five ten. Mm. It's just, you know, we always. I would have loved to have been above six feet. Yeah, I. You know what? I would have loved to have been like five nine or something like that. So five nine would make me happy. Okay, so of course Howard says that uh, they should have screen tested him for the role. Because, <laughs> Absolutely. Because- <laughs> I've got that rage. I would have been five. Guillermo del Toro should have at least screen tested me as Frank. <laughs> and I've got I can't the height. Believe he he didn't think of you. You put me in a pair of go go boots. I'm like six nine. Go go boots. <laughs> go 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 boots. Chicks go-go wear go go boots, dude. Go go like, boots. Go go boots. And that, that would be like two inch go go boots because that's pretty much all you need to get up to. He's six like five. he's already six eight. I mean he's tall. <laughs> what? Magic Magic oh, we have, next thing you know, he's going to be like seven no, four. He's as tall as Magic Johnson. He is oh, as tall. Yes. I mean, we, ha- we literally have pictures of them standing, we have pictures next, to of them standing next to each like, other. There's no the like, same size. Ambiguity. No, I mean, we literally they are literally eye to eye. eye. The go-go boots thing is just so The weird. go-go boots thing it's is only, that's only... Go-go boots, all that stuff is only just... Only a closeted weird. zookeeper would say that. I can't even imagine. <laughs> okay, so then uh, they're just talking about... I don't even know what started this, and I wish you could help me here, Dennis, because... Okay, I'll try. Robin's blathering was... Um, she was insane today. She was insane. I have a couple of, of Robin. Today? <laughs> no, 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 I mean, she was, she was off her medication <laughs> bad today. Like, she literally... Was, okay. She was off sure. Yeah. But so this is what she said. And, and again, maybe you can tell me what the uh, commentary was relating okay, to. Okay, I'll try. Oh, they're fine. You, she's a party. I, no, they're fine, those two. I don't. Oh, I know what it was. Okay. No, I, I, I'm so glad I left that in because that's what uh, brought it back to me. They were talking about. He spent like a half hour talking about American Idol this morning. It was the first thing he started with. I'm talking about, you know, how he got into bed on Sunday. And, you know, that's when they watch American Idol. And, you know, Katy Perry looks so good because she has her Ozempic body with her big titties. And uh, somebody had said to him that they thought that her and her husband, whose name I can't remember right now. Help me. Are having, oh, um, problems, you know. That's the a crazy singer. British guy, right? British 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 British. British. Oh, um. Oh God, I can see his he has long he's long crazy hair. Um, Orlando Bloom. So um Orlando Bloom, yeah. Right. And oh, so, that's right. Howard wanted his picture. Yes, 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 yes. So <laughs> Ooh, this yeah. is what you're talking about. I don't know Howard. anything. All I know is that people have too many opinions hmm. and they uh. have to say them all. You leave these people alone. Let them do whatever is going on in their life. What was what if somebody was commenting on everything you did? Is he, she kidding? There you what? Go. What what are you saying? Nothing. I'm saying nothing. Is she, is she serious? Oh, that's insane. That serious? is that's yeah. crazy. That is crazy talk. Remember, I mer- I missed the first um, first twenty minutes of the show. Thank God, I was in traffic. Uh, so that's insane. Does she not know who Cody Gifford is? No, no, she forgot all that. She forgot all about that, and, okay. and she forgot yeah. about Ru- uh, uh, Regis Philbin's a flipper foot child. Can you imagine or, uh... if if social media today was something back when Howard was really, ooh, really important. Ooh, people ooh. would have been such sea monkeys to other people, would have like doxxed them and been monsters to them. And, you know, people that called in or people that were popular on the show, would it would have been a nightmare because he would have fostered it. He would have made people's lives miserable. You know what, though? Oh, dude. But you know what, though? I think he's too stupid to understand social media, and it shows still. Because social media was around when he was still younger, and he still he still hasn't been able to figure it out. No. And no. so I don't think it would have ha- – I think it actually would have backfired on him, and he would have gotten trashed, yeah. uh, honestly. So yeah. that, I, I think that really would have been uh, – But I think people who were so bad whole, and yeah. so- monsters when it comes to social media would have felt empowered by Howard and Howard would have but, uh, enabled it. He would have been an enabler. They were just as bad without social media to these people. But I mean, you they really were. They were just as bad. But can you imagine with it how On hard... The, but the other side of the coin is that he can't take it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he he would have come back and make his way harder. through that environment, I don't think he would have lasted long. Yeah. And she was he can't side. take it. Oh, yeah, yeah, agreed. Agreed. All right, of course, then we need to start into, oh, uh, what you missed, Dennis, is- What I miss? Oh, I already deleted them. Uh, sorry, I had some eclipse oh, pictures that I, uh, I had oh, put up. Oh, you don't care about that stuff, so it's okay. Um, oh, we were right. talking about the eclipse, and I took some pictures. Oh, I took a picture, too, with my phone camera. 
Oh, you Actually, did? it wasn't as good as yours, but it, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it's I actually, you can tell it's an eclipse. Cool. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So um, I've seen some really cool pictures of it. But yes. Yeah, so then Howard's eclipse hate. Hold on. Wait. Wait. I, wait. We'll, we'll kill some time here. Hold on. Let's show you this. Sure. Sure. Let's, sure. This okay. is. I took this with my camera, with my my cell phone, with the thing, with the just a, with the glass over it. The, the uh, thing. With the cell phone. With the thing. Yeah. With the thing over it. The thing. Put it up. Okay. Hang on a second. Because the uh, temperature dropped four degrees and it went. And the UV went to one. It was kind of cool. Uh, you know, as I was hanging out outside, I was kind of hoping that I would get some, you know, a little bit colder. Oh, very yeah. nice. So yeah. what did you do? Through the glasses, through the camera? Yeah, I put the glasses over the glasses yeah. over the lens and kind of had to trick the camera that it wasn't nighttime. So it would capture the uh, actual. Right. So that's the full eclipse. That's exactly. Uh, what that's as far as it got. That was at three o'clock. I took that picture. Percent. That's a sixty percent yep. uh, view that Dennis is showing you. Yep. Cool. But it's still, it still dropped. It still made the weird light outside. Yes. It, it still really dropped the eerie on. outside. It was, it was weird. I mean, it got really eerie. Yeah, it was really eerie. So you can take like a professional picture. I, I, I just, I just use my cell phone. Well, duh. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I set up for this. I, I've been working on stupid sun pictures for, for weeks. I mean, it came out really beautiful to prepare for this. And I have a time lapse, which I'm hoping to, um, pull together. I, I don't know at some point in the near future. It's it's still on the camera, so I, I haven't gotten to it yet. But it was fun. It was fun. I enjoyed I enjoyed doing it. This is such an interesting event. To me, I find it very very fascinating the way the way everything kind of works. And yeah. Just because yeah. I have that. Uh, thank you, Ida. I have that. Uh, you know that intellectual curiosity that Howard doesn't have, and I just find it just fascinating the way everything changed because of the the reduction of uh, of you know, light. the light the light coming into earth think it about makes, that it was huge huge well, difference howard can be comfortable knowing that the next time it happens in north america he'll be 90 years old he'll be almost dead that's true. no but robin will be dead <laughs> yeah. it actually was a conversation a child born today will be able to drink by the time the next eclipse happens but the way they made it sound today you would think there's one every like oh let's of let's play the clip oh, because oh, that's yeah. just... so we're gonna go some some eclipse hate now here we go hang on <laughs> Well, you know, today anyway. is Eclipse Day. You didn't get up excited? No. Oh, my God. What fucking morons are going to go stare <laughs> at that thing? What happened to people working? What time is that happening, Robert? That's yeah. ironic. Around 3 in the afternoon, it's yeah. supposed to be the best viewing in some place. I don't you know, know what goes on at 3 in the afternoon in my life? Work. No, I work. No, no it doesn't. I, I provide None. my family. <laughs> provide for who? He has who? such hate. I, yes, and, and you know, I love that we use these words for him intellectually and curious because yes. that's exactly, you know who he's very similar to? The Kardashians. I yes, but they're actually deeper than he is. Intellectually incurious they are. Like their entire world is shrouded in taking horrible pictures of themselves, trying to look sexy. It's, I mean, it's just, it's just shocking to me how, you know, you've never seen one of them promote a book. Uh, uh, <laughs> look something you know <laughs> howard even said that today howard look. even said he's only read three books like his entire life and then he lied there's no way he read 1984 there's no way he'd be able to understand. and one of them was oh my dog <laughs> oh my dog exactly <laughs> and right, later so i want to do an update on that cat because i posted on radiogunk.com okay i would like that, to see that because i have that, that, that f and cat i'm I so the, angry i have the stupid gram uh queued up so we can okay talk yeah about i have that. the whole and the most shockingly ridiculous picture of her I've seen in a very long time. So <laughs> yes, I posted that one. That was um, disturbing, yeah. shocking, shocking, and anorexic as can possibly be. Okay. Yeah. And, and yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, let's go on with the eclipse. So he's uh, he never seen an eclipse, just so you know. Okay. There's been many of them during his lifetime, but he's never seen one. I have never looked at an eclipse. I think in school there once was an eclipse, and they made us build a cardboard box thing that you could look at it on yeah i remember that and, year too yeah so you weren't looking directly at it and, and nobody's uh, box worked it was ridiculous <laughs> and a lot of idiot glasses and the, the some of the glasses aren't even good in fact oh in fact uh then he talks about how sam on staff her husband i guess is an optometrist or some shit like this and says that he's seen many people who uh, whose eyes have blisters on them from staring at the sun too long? 
Who does um, that? Uh, first of all, I don't know how you do that because, um, yeah, that hurts. No. <laughs> I mean, after about a minute or two, because you would actually be in pain, excessive pain, before that even comes to pass. Sure, but let's that's basically go. stun burning your eyes, and it's you, you, you. Oh my God, that's almost impossible to do. My glasses mm. work phenomenal, and yes, just like yes, Abe, so though, I, I bought a six pack for like four ninety nine. Oh, <laughs> I paid too much. I got a five pack for for nine dollars delivered in one day. Oh, you paid way too much. You paid way. I too can much. send them back though. It's Amazon. I can just return them. <laughs> you imagine how many people are going to try and return those stupid glasses tomorrow? No, they, say you know what though? They're actually nice when you're laying out in the sun because you can put them on and you can just lay there and you don't need to put a thing over your Honestly, eyes. Honestly, I couldn't nice. see Dick with them on. I mean, you literally can only use them for the sun. Oh, I, absolutely. That's all I good for. That's the whole point, oh, right? I, no, it was insane. I was like, But I, I like that. I, when I go out in the backyard, I put them on now. It's just kind of nice. No, nah, it's super cool. <laughs> it's super cool. <laughs> all right. So just in case you were wondering what an actual eclipse is, Howard is going to explain it to us now. So... This is 69 explaining, in fact, what uh, an eclipse is. Here we go. The moon is in front of the sun. That's Between the earth and the sun. Yes. Yeah. That's it. I don't know why that's so exciting. It's just going to get dark. I don't know why it's a miracle. I heard one woman on Wow. Wow. It was CBS Sunday morning going, it's a miracle. No, it's I'm not. Like, it happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The the I mean the miracle is that this planet even exists and that and, and that we have perfect alignment between a sun, a moon, the earth, and gravity and elements. It's, it's a miracle. That's why I tell you there's no other life in the universe. Oh, the hubris of wow. you shocking. What a, what an intellectually dull human being. Oh my god, the worst. What an absolute moron. What a, what, seriously, what a moron. I, I, I just can't even fathom having that low an IQ or that low of a curiosity about anything. anything. It, it's just painful. And then blobbing, they happen all the time. No, they don't. They don't. This is actually it, it actually takes a lot of moving parts to the stuff to actually be lined up. Well, it's really a big deal. Some dude calls in who claims to be a scientist and says, "Yes, yes, this is funny." And uh, yeah, so uh, so this is what he says. I mean, so stu and he's trying to like be Howard's friend with what he's saying. He's trying to like mm -hmm. oh, say, "Ah, oh, that's so stupid," you know, so stupid. Exactly, and I, I actually work at a national laboratory here in Tennessee, and like, yeah, you know, sure. we're gonna go out. Like, we all got our glasses, and like see, they all got glasses because they are all gonna go out because it is a fucking spectacular thing you do. Mm -hmm. okay, maybe if you don't have a meeting, look out the window, but get back to work. You're scientists. You you right. understand these things happen every few months. They don't happen every few months. No, no, they don't. No, they no, don't. Well, it depends. Depends. I mean, it doesn't happen in North America every few months. Is I think what the correct way of putting it. But it's like it. almost two years, and the last one was only visible in Antarctica. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was like in twenty twenty one. Right. It was so it was, sorry that you outside of Tennessee in Nashville somewhere gets to see them. Lucky you, you get to see them every couple of months. Good for uh, you. Every months, yeah, because they always cross over Tennessee, you know, every couple of months. Because yeah, that's like just Azor the way it works. Sense. No other planet has its moon pass in front of the sun like ours does. That's why it's so unique. Yeah, that's true because no other uh, planet has a, uh, a moon in the size relation ours is. It's, yeah. what it, it, it's much smaller. It's a, it's a cosmic coincidence in that the sun is X. Like, let's just pick a number a thousand times bigger than the moon, but it's also a thousand times further away. Correct from us, same, same size so in the sky. Whatever size it is, it's equal the same distance equals the how big it is compared to the. Yeah. Well, I was told um, that's how it is, and I'm probably yeah. wrong. And you can correct me if I if I am. Um, You're correct, sir. No, but <laughs> they say that um, like this, they say that like one sunspot on the moon on the sun is bigger than yeah, our Earth. than our oh, Earth. Yeah, it's yeah, enormous. absolutely. One sunspot is bigger than our Earth, you guys. Yeah, and and because remember, that's ninety three million miles away. Yeah, <laughs> think about that for I mean, a second. I think and you're roughly seeing they that estimate that the sun volume wise is a million times bigger than our planet. That's crazy. So <laughs> figure that out. That's a whole. That's a whole, and that's not even the biggest star. There's stars. Oh are no, it's a dwarf. That's a, it's a white that. dwarf. It's really it blows oh, your mind to think about. It really it. is. I mean, if you guys like when you see Orion's belt outside. 
If you look up to the Beetle left, juice. you'll see a yellow star. Th- that's Beetlejuice. That is like thousands of times bigger than our sun. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it really does blow your mind when you think about these yeah. things. Sure but enough. unless you're Howard and you don't have the intelligence to actually think that way. Yeah. It, it, I like I, literally like the entire like North America is talking about this eclipse, but he wants that to be a boohoo, but oh, listen to my guitar. You know, it's like, oh, oh that's coming. What a that's dumbass. Oh, that, dude. that pain is coming. <laughs> He's just, he hates on anything that brings happiness to anybody. Yes, that's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, Can you imagine we, how I, miserable Beth must be? Like, for real. It's miserable. Oh, no, it's high. It's okay. Do. Can you imagine how miserable she must be? Oh, no, no. It's, fine. It's, it's, it's high. It's high. It's okay. It's fine. It, it's fine. <laughs> so, Jared, I, we have to give the, the shot, gunshot uh, survivor a little. Jared, Howard's penis is a white dwarf. That's a great one. Oh, very good. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Jared. Um, <laughs> all right, let's move on. So, yeah, then they start talking about books that they've read, and they talk about 1984. And um, yes, know that it's Beetlejuice and not Beetlejuice. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Just look at Ryan's belt. Look up to the left. You'll see a oh. yellow star. Yes, 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 yes. And they they debate whether it even still exists. They probably think it already went supernova. Isn't but because Sirius it's so far away. Sirius is the dog star. And it's in the, I know. The isn't Sirius close to Beetlejuice? No, I it's in the, never... it's in a, by the North Star. Yeah, was... when you look at Ryan's belt, look up, and then to the left. You, it's the only yellow star that's out up there. And to okay. the left. Up sure. And to the up. left. It's technically a red giant, but you know, it looks yellowish because of our atmosphere. <laughs> up and to the left. I, wait, I, there was a movie about that. There's uh, a, the, the the magic logie. <laughs> exactly. Of course. Oh, meanwhile, I heard that the Larry David uh, season finale was amazing. Jerry Seinfeld was on it, and um, I don't want to talk about it yet because I, I'm sure most people didn't see it yet, nor did I. But it was all over. Why are you trying to start talking about it? You haven't seen it yet. Because Why are you ruining I, it for everybody? Don't do that. Did I? Did I ruin it? Did you I ruin it? Did. did I ruin you it? Did. You did, I ruin it? Nah. did I ruin it? Did I ruin it? all over the internet. I, you didn't miss anything. Okay. 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 I don't even know what happens. Okay. I'm just okay. saying. Okay. 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 So Robin, of course, comes back with a another um, delicious Another gem. Another gem. gem. Okay, here we go. Look, already, you. Howard, we were supposed to be flying around instead of no. driving. Well, None of these happen. predictions come when they're when they're first said oh. to be on their way. So I wouldn't yeah. be so all right clear that the person who's the first person to live to 150 has already been born. Right. So basically, what Howard was saying is that scientists are saying that the per- first person to live to 150 years old has already been born, meaning yeah. that. You're an infant right now. That there is a very good chance with technology and medicine and everything else that your life expectancy will be. I mean, uh, what was it? Only what a hundred, two hundred years ago that people maybe lived to like fifty, sixty. Yeah, it, was, it was about two, three hundred years ago. If you live past fifty, you were you were doing something right. Like Benjamin Franklin lived to his eighties, which was freaking ridiculous. He's a that chubby was dude, ridiculous. Too. Well, yeah, he was oh, a yeah, but he had a, but he had kept up with the broads even when he was old. So <laughs> yeah, he kept them young. But yeah, so I, I think it's conceivable that somebody sure, who why not? Too. Whatever. Well, the has been born last week, the oldest dude on Earth was 115 years old, died finally. Right, and then so now there's a new dude that they crowned the oldest person. Oh, good for him. Okay, so yeah. in 84... his last words were, "Kill me." Yeah, right. <laughs> 1949 is when uh, 1984 came out. I'm sure all of us read it, right? So we're, mm-hmm. we're all kind of well yes, 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 <clears throat> yes. Of war is peace, war is peace. Yes. So let's take a look Double at some speak, of the things yeah. that 1984 got right. Number one, the telescreen. Yep. TV which monitors and broadcasts to the people. Okay, now remember this was 1940. No. 1949. Sorry. Yeah. So this was like a big thing that 1984 gave us. Okay, then. Yep. Speak, speak right. right. Mm-hmm. So um, basically what they could do is they could talk into something that would then type it for you. And uh, it was part of the Ministry of Truth. And um, yep. yeah, you could record and live transcribe. Floating Fortress. So <laughs> I know they include this as one of them, but like shit. I mean, if any of you have ever seen an aircraft carrier in person, you know that this the is big suckers. It's, gi- it's gigantic. It's a whole city. It's a city <laughs> floating. You will ever see in your lifetime. Yep. <clears throat> Floating Fortress. 
uh, oh, I don't even know this one, Versificator. So in 1984, Versificator is a tool that automatically produces music and literature in line with ruling party standards without human input. Essentially, yep. content created by AI. Yep. Okay. Totally makes sense to me. For Sisticator. Big Brother and Big Brother is watching you. Yep. Uh, the belief that people are deterred from disobedience through propaganda is widespread. 100% agree with this. Nobody I mean, seems to care about he, that one, though. He was yeah. he, he was absolutely... he His <laughs> foresight of how human nature was, was is so spot on. This book is... Yeah. Reading it now is actually kind of frightening. Yeah, it really, it really is. is. It, 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 this, it, you, everybody should read this book because it will scare the hell out of you because yeah. you realize how, how messed up things are. You know what? I feel like reading it's it so when dystopic. you're like 15 or 16. And you're right. I should probably read it like today. You know, just the Animal in, Farm. Animal mm. Farm, another great. Well, also a great, he, a great no. thing on human nature. Was that nature. the whole list? Or the you know that he, the Orwell predicted OnlyFans as well? But back then it was, Mabel, give me Evergreen 5321. <laughs> oh, look, at the, look at the stems on that dame <laughs> I have no idea what you're saying right now I'm Neither not. do I Okay <laughs> Okay, that makes sense Alright, so we're going to move on a little bit And we are going to Oh, I love Soylent Green Autobot Al That's like absolutely one of my favorite movies Soylent Green's people Soylent <laughs> Green um, there's nothing better than the fact that the women, remember when that dude died, the really wealthy guy, and the women came with the apartment and they were part of the furniture. They were called furniture. Spoilers. And they were, they were like, what are we going to do with the furniture? It's like, ah, you know, we'll, we'll round them up and, and take them somewhere so that they, you know, get a good night's sleep or something. But they are the furniture. They came with the apartment. I love that. Mm -hmm. I think green is puppets. Yes, Mr. Dangles. So green. <laughs> puppets. All right, let's move on. Uh, okay. Again, Robin, insanity. I have no idea what's going on. So they're talking about people dying and, you know, we're all going to die. And by the time the next eclipse comes, everybody be dead. That's here right oh. now or whatever. But they won't be no. Here's what she said. Here's what she says. Clear that the person who's the first person to live to 150 has already been born. There's a reason we have to go because we're all crazy and we I get am. better with every succeeding generation. We can't stay here. We're a mess. Oh, goodbye. I'm no mess. <laughs> People want me around. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I mean, that's the second time I've heard that and I still cannot rationalize the thought process that that took that i mean that's crazy talk do you think she's talking to her cat thinking that's howard i don't know it's really possibly i mean it, it could be i mean know. she's a woman who probably has looked death in the face uh, uh not unlike her well, constantly i think like shocking um, uh occurrence honestly like no joke it amazes me that she can turn on her mic at this sometimes point, she can't. Sometimes we're waiting for her in the morning because sometimes she can't. I don't think she can, or she's cleaning the bag out. I, you think they sent someone over there to flip the switch? I think so. Okay, you mean Captain Dennis has to turn the bag. power on? Yeah, I think they do it. I think check I think, the bedpan. I think they do it <laughs> um, remotely for sure. So, um, as we've started to notice in pretty much every single episode of the Stern Show. Everything that happened the day before gets a victory lap. Everything. Yes. I mean, the yes, whole show gets <laughs> victory lapped. And it's kind of insane uh, how far it goes. But, you know, he's, of course, going to start talking about the Ostrowskis, who he thinks are, you know, the most brilliant people ever known. The Kennedys? Booga. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh Kennedys, baby. He doesn't really quite understand the word in-laws. Like, he can't really get it out. He can't actually just played a clip because people will not be able to comprehend how stupid he is. How stupid he is. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is stupidity right here. It's pretty amazing. I must say my... Uh, what? you what? You know, my family in-laws, or family whatever in -laws. you want to my call them, all people who are, you know, related to your wife. They're the in-laws. Yeah. Yeah. They're impressive. My other uh, brother-in-law, you know, got a full ride to University of Vermont. Big fucking deal. Okay. So, 
Vermont. Ooh, slow down. <laughs> wow. Is, is that Ivy League? Or 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 so or is that? Wait, wait, Xavier, though, didn't Vermont win like the final four like five yeah. times in a row? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's what that, it is. Put money on them that day. Yes, <laughs> the, the the Ben and Jerry's League. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll take Chunky Monkey for two hundred plus. The yes, Maple yes. Syrup League. Yeah, I, I remember when I drove to Lindenville in Vermont just to see them. Who? Play. The chunky monkeys? You know the you know the whole Vermont thing. Sorry, the I'm Vermont too, thing. It's there's uh, three Three River Junction. There's St. Jay. There's Lindenville. We have no idea. Arlington. We have no so, idea. I don't know way too much about Vermont. I've never been to Vermont in my life. At really? one point, I was literally the, no joke. Really I was pretty. Really, really the only Mexican in Vermont. I oh, absolutely. I, the, I, I bet they were watching you like a hawk, bro. I remember going into a convenience store. The kid almost fucking had a heart attack. <laughs> It's like, no he, he's sitting there on the phone, ready to call. He was, I, I ran in to get some like Oreos and like a like a six pack, and the kid like oh, almost what? like ran, jumped through the window behind him. <laughs> <laughs> you blame him? Oh, honestly, yeah, I don't blame him. With your, with your resting bitch face, do you blame him? Yeah. yeah. Did you he know he had to do? No, Vermont is beautiful, dude. It's, it's like Oregon. It's one of those beautiful states that you know. I've skied have a whole lot of people in it. I'm pretty sure I've skied there, but I think it was lower Vermont. I don't, oh, you know, no, no, no. I've been to Vermont. I've never been to Maine. Oh, Maine is beautiful. You yeah, well, Maine's Maine. over like a, you know, Maine's Maine really go gorgeous. Maine. I mean, really, it's, but it's it one of those really beautiful. gorgeous tastes. Yeah. It, it, it's really, really, and there is more distilleries and breweries there than, than you can You ever, ever go to Bahaba? Bahaba. Yeah, I went to Bahaba. I actually went Bahaba's to Bahaba. Bahaba's a good place. Bahaba. Where is that? Bahaba is yeah. south it's of on the uh, Portland. East Coast. It's like you know, halfway up. Um, it's in the Acadia okay, National so Forest. So the guy that's geography. what I've been a couple places. Jeez. So that's I where went I, to I, met, I went to. That's where I saw. I won't say met Stephen King. That's where I saw Stephen King. Wow. He's frightening man. He's six five. The dude. Yeah. They were talking about six five. He's six five. He's a big dude. And you yeah. talk about resting bitch face? That guy's scary. Well, he's a little, you know. Yeah, but um, he's a, and he's a national I treasure. That because uh, so, uh, I went to Bahaba, I had a Bahaba had event. You guys, and, you get, uh, the guy you have any started, lobster? Yeah, I had lobster. Uh, the guy that started IDEX, uh, we were at his what? house. I, um, his last name's Shaw. Yeah, what? did you see any swamp donkeys? What kind of tech? IDEX. It's a. It's the blood. It's a. It's a blood testing company. It's massive. They do human and animal. Never heard and they had an event at his house on the water. It was like five acres on Bar Harbor. Bah. And it was Bah Harbor. It's a really cool place. And it was just like the most amazing place I've ever been. This was also the most expensive house I've ever been in. It's too chill. Honest to you God. know what's great about the Bar Harbor? They have roads like Runaway Moose Road or stuff like yes. that. Yes. It's really, a really <laughs> cool place. It's really for me. Highly there. recommend it if you, if you ever get the chance. I'll even live in a place where you constantly have dude to half the year it's basically like living in an ice cube there you just don't live there you don't live there in the winter time it is utterly cold yeah it's brutal it's, it's like it's it's not even funny cold there's fluffy snow uh winter and then there's frozen shitter <laughs> exactly winter. Ice Maine has the, the latter okay i'm gonna move on now yes. i'm going to move on now i don't even know okay. how we got here oh university of vermont right 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 Boston. Uh, did you know that Beth was also recruited for Beth. <laughs> you know of course she was. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Why not? Why not? You may or may not know that basketball Beth, in fact, was. After it got its teeth pushed back. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I need to. I can't believe it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Well, Beth evidently too. I didn't even know this really. I mean, I kind of knew, but, but for knew. real, she got offered a bunch of scholarships, full rights mm -hmm. to, to play women's basketball. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Liar. The whole family like was getting, you know, offers. And then it only <laughs> what points out what a your house. <laughs> oh, my house. My father was yelling at me that he had to spend five thousand dollars for BU, like for idiot school. Yes, that's exactly. That's exactly what it, it, it didn't play basketball in its senior year. There's no way that it was being recruited anywhere. It, it already said it didn't play in senior year. You're not getting recruited if you don't play senior year. Just an absolute <laughs> lie. Another, you just like modeling well. in Europe. You, you know, she was learning those six languages. We have had some so, notices yeah. of interest when she was in her the Saudi league. league. <laughs> exactly. Thanks, they played Mark. in the Camel League. She might have had some interest at some point. 
Um, but not before, you know, she, she knew she didn't want to play sports and she probably knew that she wasn't going to go anywhere with, with basketball. I can't, I can't even imagine, but you know, they, they did have some tall kids, right? So they were from like tall kids stock. So, yeah. and they, they went to a very small, private, very expensive school. Yes. And you know, a lot of these hey. schools look for kids, um, in the smaller school venue. So yeah, but Bob, Bob got away with not having to pay for anybody's schooling basically. Good right? for him. Well, except Beth beefs. Yeah. The, the two, the two years of English major, he had to pay for that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. So what yeah. he, he was embezzling money for or what? For well, what that's why then? he was doing Medicare, double, triple billing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I guess. I guess. Triple billing, baby. All right, so let's move on. Um, They're kind of perpetuating those stereotypes of Polish people, aren't they? Well, a little bit. You know, oh, well, little. sometimes just stereotypes just mean something. The weirdest thing about the conversation is how many times he must have said the word humble because he thinks of them as being humble, humble people. Everybody's so humble. Mm -hmm. And it's like there's nothing for them to not be humble about. So he was kind yes, of a yes. bird-string player. Mm. And yeah, I guess he did have four... Uh, rings, bowl rings, yeah. bowl rings. I, I, but Howard called them Pro Bowl rings because you know Wait, what he was at. Howard Penn. called them Pro Bowl right. rings. Yeah. Okay, That's, of course. Sure. Why not? Everybody on the team gets one. It's like a participation trophy. Yeah, literally, no, not. Oh, you mean like letters? Team. Like when you get a letter kind of oh, deal? No, no, no. no. When, you go to a, when you go to a bowl game, everybody on in the program gets that ring. Gets one. Everybody in the program. Like the janitor gets one. I'm yeah, not the, gonna get the fact that you probably have to be a really good player in order to be recruited by a really good school to play D1 football. Don't you nod your head. That's a you, you could play D2, you could play D3, but to play D1 ball, I, you have to be a I, better. I had kids in my high school that went to D1, and they just like they were just like Ostrowski, third string. You know, they never played. Yeah, they yeah. went, but I mean, they were they were our best player on our team. But you know, in were, the grand scheme of things, they probably would have played if they went to D two. Were they were they playing against Bobby Boucher's team? Is that what was going on? Yeah, yeah. I, well, actually, one of them sucks. went to Notre Dame. One of them actually did go to Notre Dame and back a quarterback. Well, here's the article that was written about him because you know they're such a humble family. So let's let's, let's, let's talk about this after the clip. Let's, this is so humble. It's so humble. Everybody's so humble. Yeah, impressive family. Impressive so. family. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And everyone's real humble about it, too. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like Beth goes, Doug, you can tell people you got four uh, Pro Bowl rings. He goes, oh, yeah. Pro Bowl. I'm not sure where they are. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Pro Bowl. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't. I know where my Rat Fink ring is that I, I bought. <laughs> mm, rat Fink. Yes. <laughs> so this is from 96. And, you know, again, I, I, I'm sure he's trying really hard not to be football goon from high school that was like big man on campus kind of guy you know because basically he works i guess in tech now i don't even know what the hell he does um but they do mention in here that you know they put him in as third string quarterback and his big thing was that he played in three games for the nine three lions including the outback bowl route oh, wait that was the year they came here to tampa Oh my God. Okay. But his, his most memorable outing came in the 66 14 blowout of Temple. He played in ah. 16 in that game and engineered a seven play, 67 yard drive that freshman tailback Curtis Ennis kept with a six yard touchdown. So, yeah, so he's um, 6'6 and he added 10 pounds to go back to being tight end, putting him at 220. <laughs> so. Uh, likes that wait, tight end. Are you saying he took 10 pounds in the, in the tight end? In he took 10 pounds in the tight end. Yes, tight end took 10 pounds. Yes, 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 yes. Dude, that is such an Al Bundy story. Like legit. Oh, yes. Four exactly. touchdowns, poke high yes. type of crap. Yes. Of course that, that's like, I don't remember, like, you guys remember high school? There was always like some dude that graduated like two years ago. He still wants to hang out in front of the high school. And shit. That's like that kind of stuff, dude. So the story is yeah. that he was the third string quarterback behind this guy named Mike McCreary. Mm. Mike, Mike, McCreary Crutch. Mike McCreary Mike McCreary wound up going on to be a uh, assistant 
coach at Penn. And while, oh, yeah, that's prestigious. But, well, no, here's the thing. Whilst he was an assistant coach, he's the one who saw Sandusky touching little boys. But no. he held off on this is so funny. This thing that Biznick did it just kills me. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Here you go. He's the one who, and he oh, waited. Jesus. He waited for like six weeks or something like that before he, um, before he told coach Paterno that this was going on. And then he got fired. The other guy got fired and yeah, he basically didn't, he didn't, he didn't tell on him, even though he saw it happen. Uh Oh, he got to the school. Paterno decided to um, change him into a quarterback, despite the fact that he'd never played in the position. He was third string behind Wally Richardson and Mike McQuarrie. He ended up playing in three games. The following season, they ended the quarterback experiment to put him back to tight end position. McQuarrie would end up being the assistant coach at Penn State, and it was McQuarrie who caught Sandusky screwing the boy in the shower. Times will change. Back in 2000. Did nothing Be in the wrong and went to his father for advice about what to do. The next day he reported it to Joe. If you're Parker. a boy lover. <laughs> about a week later, he also went to school officials with what he saw. While McCreary notified the school, he never went to the police, despite witnessing Sandusky with a 10-year-old boy in the shower. Oh, my Christ. Turno and McCreary were dropped from their jobs when the situation became public in 2011. McCreary would end up suing Penn State in two separate lawsuits and was awarded a combined $12.3 million. Score. Basel. Verdicts, but eventually both sides settled for a lesser amount. So basically he did nothing. Finally told on him and then was rewarded with $12 million. Do, do you think that also that Beth's uh, brother got the, Mr. Ostrowski, have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> I think you like movies do you about like, gladiators. Do you like gladiator movies? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so like the not. <laughs> so clearly the humble. Uh, humble. Humble brother. Much yeah. to be proud of there. So much to digest. So proud. So, so brave. brave. Be, so be, be, be safe. Be safe. Oh, you bastards. You know, I, I hate all of you. Boy, do not despair. Be true to your feelings. Time will change. We should know this by heart. Your oppression will end. Well, if you're a man, be safe, be brave. Be brave. And above all, be proud to be a boy lover. Boy lover. Jesus Christ. The fact that dude, that was a good idea to put that on an answering machine. <laughs> Think about that. Think of the, and you know that wasn't the first take. You know, like he'd find it two or three wait, wait. take. Wait, you, you I love- missed this one up. You, you, we will call back, but it will be correct. Yeah, yeah, it will be collect. I like it. You, you know, what? Collect you the phone calls. it will be collect. I forgot about collect. <laughs> oh, I know it. <laughs> so you know, let's I hear a little bit. Of, imagine a dude. Let's hear a little, like little bit. Takes. Go, go a little bit three lap. Yeah, takes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Hearing Howard on the air with his family today was oh the absolute God. best. We need a follow up no. with Beth's dad. That would be a no. killer interview. Yeah. Did Howard killer. bring no. up the pirates? Yeah, I brought no. up the pirates and we talked. No. Ooga. I really enjoyed listening in on you and your family this morning. It was fun, interesting, and honest. How cool for your nephew no, to come on the air and see what you do. Yeah, he uh, no. <laughs> should be somewhat impressed with me, you know, because he's probably like, well, what does he do? Do you really think the twelve-year-old was impressed with you? He couldn't wait to no, get any no. on air, if you recall. That's weird. Yeah, yeah. Like I what mean, seventy-year-old they... dude goes around worried about what a twelve-year-old has to need to impress a twelve-year-old? Exactly. That's he's weird, such bro. a he's such a petulant teenage grandfather that he needed to impress the twelve-year-old. Yeah, I mean that's that's just embarrassing. I mean, on so many levels. Do, do you think so that many. Howard pulled the the Ted Kennedy and walks in? With the robe with no underwear and him pretends he doesn't know his <laughs> is hanging out. There's a squash at Kenny Kennedy. Ah, rah. The visual of that is just horrible. Yes, yes. Oh, I got a feeling. Oh, they, they, yeah, I, I do too. <laughs> All right, let's hear more victory lapping because you know we love these. We love these 
these emails and letters that he gets from, you know, sure. non-existent human beings. And you know what? He never says Greg from Oregon wrote in and said, like, it's no. just never, there's no name ascribed to anything. No. There's nobody that's really talking about this. Yeah. It's just, just some bullshit randomness. Here we go. Uh, Beth's brother is great. His Sandusky story is insane. Yeah. Sandusky towel snapped him while he was naked. Yeah. That story is insane. Oh. Sandusky was caught uh, with a, 10 year old so that story snapping a towel is insane it, that's insane it's the most insane story ever heard I, in the yeah, howard is just really proud of it 10 year old yeah so so proud of it and so he's proud. talking about the story on air with his 12 year old in the room but okay oh yeah you know it's normal do you think he uh sword, oh, he howard, sword fight with uh sandusky <laughs> <laughs> there's plenty of shenanigans oh, God. <laughs> Well, any shenanigans. All right, let's continue. That's the big question. When Doug and the family are over, do you and Beth serve Subway sandwiches? Joe Paterno would approve. I don't think it's so bad. Email. Who would write that? Who would write that email to them? Think about that. Let me let me replay that for Randy. all. Who would write this note to Howard? Who would take the time? You Subway every day. Yeah, here, here. So, Howard, here's the big question. When Doug and the family are over, do you and Beth serve Subway sandwiches? Joe Paterno would approve. I don't Jonathan think Blitz. So bad, by the way, I really don't. I think Subway's great. I I spent four years in college eating Subway did every you know? day. <laughs> did you know? Uh, did don't you think? think? Did you really? How old is is Subway anyway? All Subway. right. Oh, so funny. I looked it up. Yes. Funny enough, looked it up. Yes. Subway was only in Connecticut in 1974. Howard went to Boston in 1972. Uh, Subway didn't even start franchising till like 75. And God knows when they actually you really he's made it to Boston. So he's lying. Whoa, yeah. what a shocker. He's lying like a rug. And right. fun fact, it was originally called Pete's Super Submarines. And really? That, yes. Oh, and yep. then it was called Pete's Subway um, until 1972. But yep. nonetheless, it was uh, – it was uh, – Connecticut. It came, it came to fruition in 1965. This dude borrowed $1,000 from his friend Peter. To start Pete's Drive-In Super Submarines in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah, and, well, it's interesting that he, and he's talked about Sandusky. Then he's talking about Subway, who had Jared as her. Yeah, I know. More diddlers. There seems to be a pattern here. I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Please don't. Oh, they did though. Yeah, <laughs> they did. So you got yeah. Jared and Sandusky in the same universe. Yeah. So just basically, after several name changes in the beginning years, it finally was renamed Subway in 1972, and a franchise operation began in 1974 with a second rest restaurant in Wallingford, Connecticut. Get out of here. They didn't even expand within their own state until 1974. So yeah. he's absolutely full of shit. He Absolute never liar. Um, well, He was doing TikToks in middle school, don't you know? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. With his friends Ariana Grande and absolutely, yeah, yeah. and and he she, was going. Ariana and, and was a mentor. Was, to he him. was seeing Nirvana. He was seeing Nirvana on a date. Absolutely, showing. Wait, that's too old for him. So <laughs> then he's having like a really, really weird pattern of talking about. I think people are encouraging his guitar playing, which is bizarre to me. Yeah, no, they're not. Horrible. No, uh, honestly, it's it's, it's, it's no, horrible. they're not. It's as horrible as it gets, and. But he's he's full on with it. He wants us to know that, you know, he's going forward with this. And it's shocking to me how the the staff has to just totally blow smoke up his ass. And yes, Azores, if you ate at the same place all the time in college, you would know the name. Of course. Oh, yeah. I remember I always ate at ABC Pizza on Sunday afternoon. And you know he got every Sunday food. afternoon. Ate there. You know he only went to the. You know he only went to the cafeteria. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> because Daddy paid for everything, so he only Obviously, ate there. Nice pizza. And yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Pretty much what he did. So yeah, so the fans are supporting Howard's guitar playing. So let's hear a little bit about that. I, I think uh, a lot of people were very excited about my new guitar sound uh, and how my guitar uh -huh. playing is coming along. I'm sure, they did. Fans are being very supportive of my guitar journey. I mentioned that I'm coming out with an album very shortly. No, you're not. I cannot wait for you guys to hear what he thinks would actually uh, comprise an album. <laughs> Featuring uh, green sleeves. And again with the green sleeves. And uh, something called Spanish Theme. And a uh, Farajaka will be on there as well. Uh, so Is this supposed to be comedy? Things. It's comedy it's going, track. bro. Anybody got the tracks or do I need to get them off my phone? 
Wow. So he's actually started recording all of his tracks. Jesus he's Christ. good for him because he thinks that this is something that people want to hear. And everybody keeps constantly blowing smoke up his ass about how good he's doing. And, um, and yeah, I want to play that, but first, and uh, this was a comment somebody had made on our website on radio, gunkered.com yeah. today, basically during the, um, during this segment, um, and I'm sorry, I'm going to not pull it up. Was right it Ki- is it Kive 96? I was basically talking about, oh, my God, we could listen to oh. Richard on the phone with his dad from 10 years ago, and it would it's be the same. exact same conversation. It doesn't even matter when you play it or what they're talking about. It's the exact, and he's right. I mean, because I listened, you know, I recorded a, a moment of it just so. Oh, we how that it went over. They'd probably been turned into the company. <laughs> Well, that's part of our job here. So, oh, uh, yeah, homosexuality. I was yeah. even flicking my balls with his fingers, too. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's embarrassing. I, I mean, seriously, I, I feel embarrassed for Richard's dad. <laughs> I don't. I don't. That he's actually going along with it. Just Pretty hang up the phone. That Richard's dad is probably just as smart as, as, I mean, the well, guy, yeah, I mean, you know, he doesn't sound like an intellectual genius. So. Doesn't he admit to eating like dead raccoon that's been run yes, over? By a yes, car? yes, I think yes. shame is in his uh, yeah, he eats, he eats roadkill. He, he actually does eat roadkill, yes, so. I probably. Do have, I do have a clip of the uh, fantastic guitar work, it's uh, <laughs> penis play. Let me see where it is, guys. Just give me one quick second here so I can look it up. I had these all like ready to go, and then um, oh, I, and then the uh, Alicia Jordana thing happened. Screwed yeah, everything up. yeah, it screwed everything up. We had to we had to get to that. Um, breaking news. Clearly, we have a victory lap for Dick or Sausage. So let's talk about that really. Well, quick. Oh, really, uh, uh, clip here again. How it me. The serious app. Just when I thought listening to Dick or Sausage was hilarious, being able to watch it took a whole new thimble size. Took it to a whole new thimble-sized level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was so gross. I can't unsee that. Richard is hung like a chipmunk. Yeah, you look incredibly (laughs) small, your penis. Well, it's funny because I am. I'm small anyway, but like Mike said, the way they blurred my dick, it looks like I have no dick. uh, Let's take a look at that, shall we? So... No. Oh, have, do we have to? Come on. Ah, do we have to. Oh, oh, do we have to. What do you mean? Who's then if I had to listen to it? Jesus. This is uh this is this is how the show goes. So apparently they blurred him out, but um yeah, I mean you're not gonna really see anything. Lucky us. I mean oh, honestly God, he's so fleshy. Ah oh, oh. so ruddy and it looks like you could just push down on him and it'll be like memory foam, you know, just like really. Oh. <laughs> oh, he looks like a style. naked mole rat. Ugh, yeah. So oh. you know, look oh. it up. Wilding. Yeah. Chris Wilding. Oh, bro, bro, bro. I know that Chris is full of shit with this. because Oh, no he absolutely is. He's an air whore. This is a way to stay on the air. I don't know where I am. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, you're so where I am. Lost. I'm going to point Which you. hand? Right here. Okay. I want to start at the base. Chris, use your mouth. Uh, that's sausage. Oh, you didn't really blur it that well. Hang on, go back to that one. That's oh sausage. my god! Ow! Small. <laughs> I'm trying to feel for veins. That's sausage. <laughs> okay. Oh, hang on, hang on. This is, is that penis? <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> yeah, the last one was penis because it, ha- it has it has that plumpness of a cock. You're wrong. I'm wrong. Whoa, Gross. Gay man. Look how happy he is. Oh, that felt like sausage. <laughs> you know, the ones I deal with are much bigger, so this is very tricky. I couldn't feel vain. I couldn't feel anything. I really? Chris, can you it. believe? Really? What an interesting you were wrong. Okay, we're good. I'm good. Oh, now we get to see horse down there. That's great. Yeah, everyone thought you would be the one. Now notice. <clears throat> his three guitars in the background are not the ones that he uses to play on. They're just, they're just <clears throat> decorations. He has a guitar on the side, right? These are just decorative. And yep. then he has his amp here so that he can connect it because we really do need to hear him playing. 
I mean, this is, you know, this is part of the show now is to listen to him play songs. So, yeah. This is so, literally the worst podcast ever. It is absolutely. so terrible. It is absolutely. worst, worst podcast That's right, Frank. Ever. It's I actually worse. Why Sirius is failing. Yes. It's actually worse than that podcast we saw where we're on Who Are These Podcasts when they played the guys that worked together and they didn't know one guy's wife was pregnant. Yes. This is actually worse than that. Yeah, they got, one dude turned to the other and said, your wife's having a baby? Like, he seriously didn't know. Like he's seriously- No, he didn't know. They never talked to any, each other. And actually, there's a commercial for them on Pluto in between the in between the shows. They actually have that thing. And I always point out, hey, those are the two guys that know nothing about each other. Nothing about each other. But they were funny. They made me laugh. Um, <laughs> so then um, Richard is talking about how they're workshopping. Apparently, who is it that's going to be in concert at Central Park and supposedly invited took us to open for them. At sure, Central sure, Park. sure, sure. I, I zoned out. I'm sorry. One of the stupid, uh, it, it's either like Counting Crows or somebody stupid. Oh, it was and, Counting Crows. It was, it was Counting Crows. Yes. You're doing a free concert. No, black, not black Crows or Counting Crows? It was one of the Crows. I oh, couldn't tell they, you right they, they now. They just had was, the Black Crows on. So the crows. Oh, It would be them then. Those okay. It would be okay. one of the Crows. Counting Crows are the other ones. Those Crows. Those Crows. Yeah. Cool, cool, those, cool. Those Crows. They're doing a free concert. In the Central. Russell Crows? Yeah, exactly. And they go counting black crows. Exactly. Yes. Counting black crows. Thank you, Benjamin. Um, and apparently they they legitimately invited Tukas to sure, open. Sure, sure, sure. Jesus Christ, though. And of course, Howard immediately said no, but because they have nothing else to do, they need to like workshop the concert for Howard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I know, I know. In fact, I was working up a new tune. Let me see if I can find yeah. it real quick. Oh my god. You know, well, a lot of this I, stuff. <laughs> Yes, yes, uh, Richard. Uh, Steve Nowicki and I have a lot of great ideas if you wanted to play that Central Park show. Great ideas. We, we brainstormed some <laughs> great great ideas, ideas or something ideas. that's never going to happen. He's one can... of those artists that only work in the studio, apparently. Like uh, Steely Dan. Right? For our uh, <laughs> Jewish friends out there, listen to this. <laughs> this will be on the album. Listen to this. This is a traditional Jewish prayer. How are you proud of this? You're like a five-year-old. Seriously. I literally could not tell you what that was. And I've actually heard a lot of Jewish songs in my life. I've never heard. I don't, I couldn't tell that, you. That that's like the kind of stuff you would hear like at a, at a toy store and someone, some kids playing on a Fisher Price guitar or something, you know? Yeah. That's how crappy that sounds. Brutal. Okay. I mean, showing off more guitar skills. This is so exciting. This he is has, brilliant. He has all the rhythm of somebody with like MS. I mean, it's, it's pretty scary. Awesome. I mean, I'm literally sitting right here next to my guitar, which I'm going to play for you guys at some point in the future. Not uh -oh. really. No, not now. Okay. Not now. Zuza, zoo. Zuza, zuza, zoo. Zuza, zuza, zoo. <laughs> you never... Told me how much you love me. No, I know that my vagina, my vagina. <laughs> I'm not easy doing it. Easy there, Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, exactly. Slow your roll there. Purple <laughs> up in my brain. So okay, so 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 here's the genius of his guitar skills. It's just so phenomenal. There's genius. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to find one that I did. Uh, this, is this is crazy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. This is on the album. He's recording. What is this? It's an original. <laughs> okay. There you go. That's it? Nice. That's it. I keep in charge. I'm like the Ramones. I just do it quick. <laughs> <laughs> There's no part of me that thinks that, that he's being serious about this, right? I mean, that, oh, he is serious. I think he's dead serious because he's a petulant grandfather. Um, I honestly, that sounded like, you know, the interludes in old Westerns, you know, for like two seconds. Not even that. Yeah. You could pluck dun, 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 dun. Yeah. That exactly. I could pluck it without even hitting a chord and still sound better than that. Exactly. Either. But it's it literally, I, I figure I see Lee Van Cleef or something. I hear <laughs> Lee Van Cleef pops up. So listen to them kissing his ass about how great oh, it's so bad as a uh, guitarist. I mean, it's really quite scary. Here we go. The second to last clip, by the way, guys. Yay. Wait a minute. You're going to tour? <laughs> I can't stop playing this. That's how good it is. 
You love your music. I do. I wouldn't put it out if I didn't love it. <laughs> oh, listen. The part to that. where you strum is nice. Yeah. Thank well, you. That's nice. Where you strum. Thank you. I know it. That poor guitar. That's pretty. I know. You know, thank God guitars don't have feelings because this thing would just jump out into the pool. Guys, I didn't once, but it's not. It's just me. Yeah. <laughs> it's solo. Wow, that was amazing. So good. Your strum portion. So Jared. <laughs> Jared. The, I mean the, wing, the wind cried oy vey. <laughs> <laughs> How is this different from when he did the same bit 10 years ago? It is. It's the ago. same bit. It's the same bit again. It's literally the I'm same bit. Play. And what's after this? What? Chess? And then what? Photography? And then what? It actually is works. this like a circle? Because it is I'm a circle. so unbelievably embarrassed to be playing that for for his his uh pain tens of listeners tens. seriously that just is absolute are you experienced this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is literally the equivalent of when he learned to photoshop for those calendars oh my god yes this is if, if a guitar could have a missing leg that would be it <laughs> <laughs> oh, but by the way mo and i were talking about and we, we were probably gonna do a is we're coming up on the 10th anniversary of one of the North Shore Animal League uh, calendars mm. with the missing legs and stuff. Mm. That's coming up later in the year. Yeah. yeah. Hold of that calendar. I really want to do like a uh, the deep dive on it. Dive. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have that. Do, do, do we still have that? Remember, did you do that one with Elijah's boy? That dude? Oh, yes. Did didn't we do something like that? That, yeah. that, kid, that dude knew his yeah. stuff. Time for the 17th time, it's on Dog Shed. We don't have it. We don't have access to it, sadly. Oh, I oh well. Machine, because that would be amazing. I wonder what that dude's doing these days. I don't know. He was really He's smart. Chicago kid. I reached out to him one time. You know, he used to do like a lot of woodworking and pens and stuff like oh, that. Oh, the pens. Yeah, he's a pen guy. The pens. Yes, the pens. First guy doing gifs and stuff like that. Elias was oh, absolutely. Um, he was a pioneer. Really brilliant guy. And so he's the whole reason I even do this to begin with. It's all Elias's fault. All. Uh -oh. his yeah, because of his Photoshop. He would do a radio gunk pen for us. He's been on our show, actually. And yeah, I, I know. Yeah, yeah. From him, weirdly enough. But I haven't reached out to him in a really long time. I wonder how he's. reached out to him. He was interested in doing the, the 10th. I think that University. would. Oh, I'm going to make a note of that right this moment. No, no, no. That guy was funny. Elias boy. Yes, for sure. I'm pretty sure I have him somewhere. All right. So this is the end of the show. I didn't really tape it because he started talking oh. about how he was going to wrap the show up. And that he um, he was going to bring something up tomorrow, which was Jonathan Blit and uh, Ronnie. And then he starts the whole argument. So they are having some sort of bullshit argument, which means absolutely nothing because everything they do is completely manufactured. Oh, this is all fabricated. It is absolutely fabricated. And yeah. the thing is, he killed 20 minutes today on this fake argument. Oh, thank you, Nick, Nick, Nicholas. Nick, Nick, Nicholas. Nicholas Cage was five dollars. You can't, five bucks, dude. You cannot see my nips, silly. That is not something that's happening. Uh, Come on, five bucks is five bucks, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's um, the nips. <laughs> so he's gonna, so he's gonna double. He's, he's gonna double down. He's gonna double down now and kill an hour tomorrow with it. He killed twenty minutes today and killed an hour tomorrow with it. It'll be oh, victory lap with the time. Absolutely, an hour's worth. will be victory time. lapping it again. Yes, on yes, Wednesday. yes. All right, so let me um, let me do end of show and then we'll get to some other things. Here we go. There you go, John. Adios, adios, amigo. That's Spanish for see you later, friend. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Get out of here. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Just that's, how, it that's how. That's how the show ends. Um, so I did want to bring up, hold on, because I got tagged into it on uh -oh. the Twitter machine. Hold on a second. Oh, look at us playing live on the uh, Twitter machine right this second. Oh, we're live on the Twitter machine. Oh, wow. That's oh, great. Twitter. There we are. So, um, Elisa Jordana, best known for appearing on the Howard Stern and marrying Andy Dick, gets in a domestic violence situation with her boyfriend. Police witness violence between them, but still allows them to drive away together when the harrowing events unfold. So I guess she went on to talk he about gets. it. And um, so anybody who's interested in what happened with Elisa after the fact 
can uh, go check it out. It's pretty much all over the uh, interwebs now. So you can you can check her out and see what happened to Elisa. Let's go see what's going on in Stupidgram right now. And yes, um, all right, yes, yes. Well, yes. First, let me show this picture because it was. I think the insanity is really is really it's on. really catching on. Um, yeah, I I saw this and immediately started a thread because I I was disturbed by this. That is a fifty something year old thing that is dressed like a twelve year old thing. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that face is scary. First off, I think she has lost an extraordinary amount of weight and that's where her teeth are looking so much bigger. <laughs> She's really, I mean, I don't even understand what's going on with her arm over here right oh, now. Oh, that's, that's just sinew. That's not even muscle. It's just sinew. Thank you, Ida. Thank you, me to Wiki. But she is ridiculous. Oh, it has just gotten disturbing looking. And that dress is so inappropriate for something over 50 years old. I mean, that is just you mean so the, inappropriate. It's, it's just not even. Top? Howard loves belly tops. What's wrong with you? I understand that. But this thing's over 50 years old and it has, it has hair like Cindy Brady. I mean, oh. this is this is disturbing. Come on. Who doesn't see that and go, black hole, sun, <laughs> sun what is it? Uh, uh, um, the rain. D Tickle what is me it? That's exactly what that is. Tickle me Toki wants to see your nips. Uh Savior. Go ahead. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> Whip them out. On that. Just let me just let me know you have them out. They're out right now. There you go. Here's do it. Listen. <laughs> um, Thank you so much. Ida. I feel that? like what such a that? whore. What was that the, the thing? Is it uh Bucks and Buck. Stop it. The, the baby daddy or what, what was that thing again? DDLG? Um, what? DDLG? Yeah, DDLG. That's yeah. it right there. That's DDLG. Thank goodness this mirror illusion is just that two pebbles are definitely not better than one. She's a handful. This is just a bizarre picture to me. Ugh, I, it's a weird, weird I, picture. Even by her standards. Face. Even by her standards. The face Even is by her. The hair is disturbing. The outfit is just Jesus. This, dude, it's just weird, man. Everything about this is just, um, yeah, 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 <sighs> yeah. So there was something else apparently that um, Dennis had posted on Radio Gunk, and we're gonna Why get you just to pull up the Radio text. Gunk thread. Oh no, just come here. Text text I'm here already. So oh, okay, because I have I have all the story together because it makes no sense at all. So oh, the, the, the the cat the update the on cat the cat turn out the third floor window. Yeah, so, yeah, this is the third floor window cat. Okay. That it, last week, was it on Wednesday? I guess, yeah. Tuesday? Let's go back in time. Let's go back. Let's go back in time, because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? He's had so many freaking posts. It's, like, frightening. It's oh, like one week is like a thousand. It's, like, a hundred posts one week. Yeah, like, there it is. Okay, okay so. Scroll down to it. Go like, there from. it is. This is. Need help with transportation. What day is this? this Six is days ago. Okay, so this is last Tuesday. A second. Well, think about this for a second. This is last Tuesday. Need help. Need some help with some transportation this morning. I was informed overnight about a situation with a friendly sweet cat that was thrown three stories from her apartment. Kitty is blah, blah. Update, we have a transport. I wish I could write back to all the wonderful people that have been volunteering transport. Much gratitude. Stay tuned for updates on Kitty. Transport six days ago. Okay, so we six hear days ago. okay. No, the it, then we get the information. Here's the person. So this is this is the, later that night. Gross. Yeah. With the fleece. Uh, All right. Jacket so this off. cat allegedly was thrown out three stories, which is over thirty feet, yes. onto concrete. And oh, okay, had, so that's all we sure. heard. That's all we knew. Okay, so now we go up. Wayne's <laughs> World, party town. <laughs> I wish we could make the screen spin. Here we go. Here Here we go. go. Okay, so this is a day ago. He looks happy. Was this yesterday? This is last night. Um, sore so mouth from trauma after being thrown out a third story window. Sweet P is going to be okay. I'm so happy she's with me. With me. 
I'm going to let her recover and learn to trust again before I put her up for adoption. We love her already. Hashtag healing sweet pea. Trust again. Hashtag healing sweet pea. Okay. Uh, you don't have so, to worry about so many trust things. falls with that cat, right? You did. <gasps> so many things about this are are just nauseatingly just false. First of all, all right, if this thing was thrown out of a over 30 feet onto concrete, where is a body yeah. cast? Where's the shaved fur? Where is oh anything? It's fine. I mean, he's because fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this cat. And how do you have a sore mouth from falling over 30 feet? I mean, what did it grab onto a wire with a teeth? All I got is like, I fell, I fell out of a third story window and all I got is a sore mouth. Parkour, parkour, parkour. How do you know it's sore? I, I have no idea. That cat doesn't look distressed. So you're saying that Beth doesn't know what a sore pussy feels like? No. Uh, no, it doesn't. Definitely no. Oh my God. No. Even shit. after all the Arabs. Um, Fortunately, it doesn't seem like he'll be charged, says Laura. And then Adamsbury says, maybe we can throw him out the window and see how it goes. It's uh oh, people can walk around freely after advocating doing violence. Sore mouth. Someone can report that. Sore mouth. So we have a fake report of animal abuse because we have no real proof that this cat was actually injured because there's what no kind of monster does this. Poor. Oh my cat. Christ. <sighs> <sighs> So many sick. Yes, 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 yes. And it's a monster. Oh, a my God. A bully and a monster. A monster. Why would somebody do this? The state of so, humanity. I wonder what next week's disaster is going to be. Oh, uh, So the other part of this that is just absolutely just, as you would say, delicious. Yeah. Is that it's with me. It's All me. right. Uh, bitch, you're 1,400 miles away from this cat. Yeah. Literally, you're 1,400 oh you miles away. Flies it down. Can you imagine if she flies it down? That would be. That would be. Oh, uh, that would be awesome. That would be. Oh my God! Yes. Spend five grand. Hey, it's you know what? Down. It's a shorter flight than Oman. She should. <laughs> Just she should saying. She should be home in like six to eight weeks, though. No. I mean, yeah, it's this time, cat will time be gone Hampton. in six to eight weeks. Uh, we'll do the I mean, Hampton seriously, thing. there's nothing wrong with it. It's, Healing sweet pea. Let's see what's going on with that hashtag. Oh, there's the big hashtag. Wow, it, it really it's it's caught fire. Really caught fire there. That, yes, that, that's is, that is a fire. That's that's it's smoking. Christ. Hey Mo, before we sign off, I have to read something. You know, no damage, literally just a little bit. This beauty. This, Mo, do you hear me? It's a beauty. Yes, babe. What? Oh, when before we sign off, I have to read, you know, one of those things. Uh okay. Just let, just g- give me the high sign. Well, I'm just about wrapping up. I'm just, ah. I was just looking at uh, the. <laughs> oh, that is no, a pretty really? cat. That's a shame. It's, it's probably beauty. it. Just a beauty. Just a beauty. All right. Xavier, what is it you would like to read to us, sir? Um, okay. Since uh, we showed that thing in the, at the beginning of our show, if you are the victim of domestic violence seeking information or assistance, please, con- please contact the NYS Domestic or Sexual Violence Hotline. Call 1 800 942 6906, or you can text. 844-997-2121. Thank you for that. I appreciate Thanks. that you did that. This is good. This this is good. So yeah, that's uh that's basically it. So heart is on Wednesday. Yes, heart is on Wednesday. Coming straight out for you. And tomorrow is today's victory lap, and it will also be the Ronnie fake fight, and then Wednesday will be victory lap and heart. Um, yeah, a lot of content tomorrow. It's gonna well, be just spectacular oh and probably some probably some uh eclipse uh stories because you know need to kill time because of course so i have a little surprise for you at the end of the show oh I, yes 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 an email today which i thought you know everybody would appreciate since we are missing out on the cheesy 70s music that we so used to love from last year so um i thought instead we would end the show Wait, no, there was no cabbie mention on the show today. Oh, so if we're going to be ending the show. Yes, 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 oh, yes. I'm sorry, sorry. I need to plug sorry. myself then because I have uh, course, DJ's sorry. Classic Garage there on uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. I'm at 488 subscribers. So when I reach close. 500, I will do a live in my garage mm-hmm. to answer anything. Mm. within reason of course mm-hmm. but answer anything mm-hmm. uh so and uh i have a new video coming out uh when when tomorrow when? tomorrow when? uh it, it's gonna be on uh ev copium 
Uh, I just wanted to. Copium is a great drug. Um, the the cope copium? is strong. What's uh, copium is the. Uh, Can you hit it? No, it's it's like when you're delusional about something working out, you have copium. I, I like like Beth wanting to be a model, and uh, at 52 years old, it has copium. Or a basketball player, sure. Or a basketball player. Or Doug being, you know, a star quarterback in the NFL. Sure, sure, sure. You know. With his Pro Bowl Copium. rings. Pro Bowl rings. Four Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl rings. Pro Bowl. Say that word. Four Pro Bowl. Four Pro Bowl. Say that. Pro Bowl. Four Pro Bowl rings. Close enough. And, and I'm, I'm working on some shirts, and hopefully my staff will be done with the other set of shirts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my staff has been terrible. <laughs> Puzzle, get on it. Post haste. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Monster. All right. So thank you everybody for joining us tonight. We really appreciate you coming and sitting with us for a while. As always, we um we're here because we want to be. That's all I'm that's all I'm yes, doing. yes. And that's I I, that's I, sure. I I drove 30 miles to get here to 30 miles. And I balls hanging. His balls. I didn't realize that until just now. Has dangles. Dangles has dangles. <laughs> Play it again. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Hey guys, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Please join us for any further discussion at RadioGunk.com in the forum section. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Radio Gunk. And don't forget to like this and subscribe to us and hit that little bell so you know when we're doing a new show. Thanks.